Let's get your Bronco build, avoid getting it canceled, causing you to lose thousands of dollars. So let's avoid that cancellation. Let's make sure you know what you need to know to increase, pretty much guarantee your chances of getting built or increase your chances of getting built depending on the modification you make to your order. And let's also cover when everyone else can also order. So we're gonna be talking about information for reservation holders as well as new people wanting to order their new Bronco. Yes, you will be able to order a 2023 Bronco even if you've never reserved or ordered one before. We're gonna be talking about that date, so do watch the end of the video because we're gonna cover everything you need to know because here at Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, we are here to help and we do wanna save you thousands. So I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews, here to help and we do hope save you thousands and avoid getting your Bronco canceled. Now, if you're already scheduled, if your Bronco's already scheduled, you don't have to worry. If you already have a VIN and you're scheduled to a date, you don't have to worry. But if you're not scheduled yet, you need to listen up. And if you're thinking of ordering a Bronco when order banks open, well, we're gonna cover those dates and your constrained items that are constrained today and making it difficult to build certain Broncos you should hear about this. It will help you. So I'm Johnny from Johnny's Car Care and Reviews. And well, we're here to help. To help us out, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification so you don't miss out on any really important information. So let's start with some don't be fooled. I wanna make sure you've made it to this far in the video because I'm gonna give out the really good stuff, the must know right away. Don't be fooled. Ford is still making wild track Broncos. Not all wild track Broncos are going to get cancelled. Not all Sasquatch equipped Broncos, Sasquatch package or luxury package Broncos are going to get cancelled. So that was a little bad little rumor that passed around on the internet and I want to clarify that. Ford isn't cancelling all the orders that are wild track, Sasquatch or luxury package but these are the constrained items. So repeating that, wild track, constrained. We've got the luxury package, it's also constrained. Got the hard top, that's constrained. And while the hitch is no longer constrained. So good news there. Now, having all of these on your order, that's where the real problems arise. I'm gonna talk about this in detail, but I've been talking about this really since the very you know, beginning of Broncos getting delivered. You see our blue Bronco that Matty is hugging right there. Well, that was a sacrifice Bronco that we absolutely loved. We took a Bronco without Sasquatch and without hardtop, and we got built pretty much at the very beginning. We got that in September, 2020 one so we got built not because we removed all the constrained items because it's you know back then there was a few extra constrained items we had the hitch but we got built and beside we got that other bronco so his and hers bronco well that is a sasquatch and it's an outer banks and it got built just because it wasn't a hard top. So we're going to talk about probabilities of getting built, what you need to do, and at the end of the video you will want to watch then because we're going to be talking about important dates for ordering a new Bronco. Yes, it's coming up and also what deadlines you have for making the changes if you so so choose to make changes. So let's start off by saying it is Ford's goal to build all the current reservations. So you don't have to make changes but if you don't, if nobody makes any changes, well, there are gonna be consequences. You won't get built as a 2023 and you're gonna lose thousands of dollars because you're not gonna get your special rebate for having waited this time, your special offer, and you also won't have a chance to jump on a $2,500 offer that Ford is offering to reservation holders to make changes to their order. We're gonna talk about what those changes are, but first let's make it really clear, Ford's goal is to make all the reservations. Now hopefully enough people change, um, because right now there's about a 10, 15%, um, five to 15%, I should say, between each constrained item. So the 
gets constrained by about 5 to 15% per item. Now, if you change just one item, you're going to increase your chances, but not guarantee your build. If you change all of them, you're guaranteeing your build. So Ford is still building those wild tracks, but let's talk about what needs to be done in important details first. So previously, the bad news was that Ford had, you know, sold a lot of Broncos. And actually that's good news because it guarantees that we're gonna have further editions of Broncos, that they'll invest the money to get new model Broncos to us sometime later in 2020. So maybe around 2027, 2028, we should be seeing a new model Bronco. But the really bad news is that some dealers really oversold the Bronco. They sold a lot more than they're gonna receive. So I talked about that from the very beginning to be careful what dealer you order from, you know, ask them how many uh, roughly they're gonna get for the year and where you are on the list to give you an idea of about when you're gonna get it. And that was an important shopping, piece of shopping advice. But now Ford's gonna correct that because what they're gonna do is the dealers that have oversold their Broncos, well, they're gonna, you could say, dip into that dealer's 2024 Bronco allocation, lower how many they're gonna get in 2024 so they can give them more in 2023. So builds are gonna go to dealers that need them even if they did oversell their Broncos. So that's great news. And then of course, the other piece of great news is that Ford really is trying to build all these Broncos because they have not opened up ordering new orders for Broncos. So, so far, all the 2023 production has been focused solely on producing these old reservations. Now let's talk about what needs to get done. So with giving more allotment, Bronco allotment, more Bronco builds to dealers that need them, Ford is working hard to provide all these orders to people who have waited for over a year. I like to call them the Bronco long haulers. Now, a lot of that is mostly in the system. It's wild track with a hard top and a luxury package. Now those things, you know, if you really want to increase your chance of getting built, you got to remove them all. And if you do, if you remove the luxury package, wild track, or if you're just a Sasquatch, you remove the Sasquatch, and you go to a Big Ben, Outer Banks, or Badlands, like we did right here. Well, we did it and we didn't get paid to do it, but now you're gonna have a $2,500 rebate. So that's really fantastic news. So Ford wants to get all these Broncos built for the reservation holders, but Ford needs your help. Like I was saying, each of these constrained items is constrained by about five to 15%, meaning, suppliers just can't bring enough of the parts required for the Sasquatch package. Even though they're making a lot more hardtops, hardtop production is at about 65%, it's still not enough. So Ford needs your help to get these built. And if you don't get built because you keep, you know, the worst, least likely build possible, the wild track with luxury package and hardtop, well, some of you will get built with all those constraints constraints, but a portion of you will not and you won't get your private offer. So you're going to be basically starting your order all over again in 2024, paying 2024 pricing and 2024 interest. Just like I mentioned in this week's live on Monday night, but I'm making a special video to talk about just the Bronco in case you didn't sit through and watch the whole hour long live. So let's point out because suppliers can't get all the parts to the factory. If everyone holds their build, some will not get built, will get reset, are gonna spend thousands of dollars more if they reorder a 2024 Bronco. So you're not gonna get to carry over your old order. And that's gonna cost you thousands. So these are really important tips that you need to take into consideration. You do have the option to do nothing. Some will pass. Hopefully enough, other people will have made the changes that there won't be constraints anymore. But people have hung on this far. I worry if you don't make at least one of these changes, I worry you won't get built. So can do consider making at least one change, such as going to soft top. Or maybe you got a wild track, hard top. Well, what worked for us was Sasquatch soft top on the Outer Banks and that passed through. Do avoid the luxury package though. We took the high package, we're quite satisfied and if need be, we can always change out the speakers or add a sound bar. 
Now, of course, if you do go straight to a Big Ben, Outer Banks, or Badlands, you will get the $2,500 rebate. And as you can see, Marie actually, in this photo, that's very indicative of how Marie feels. Sorry, I'll turn over here. Marie actually prefers the Badlands over our Sasquatch. I mentioned it in the live, the Badlands was more than enough when it comes to off-roading, plenty of tire size. Plus those tires were good both in Florida weather as well as very cold northern winter conditions. So really happy with how those um, tires did. They didn't wear irregularly even though we we're using them from very hot to very cold conditions. Now continuing right along, you do get that $2,500 rebate if you switch to a Badlands Outer Banks without Sasquatch of course or the Big Ben. Ford will pay you to do that. So if you remove Wild Track altogether, Sasquatch from other models, the hardtop and the luxury package, you need to avoid, uh, remove everything that's constrained and then Ford's giving you the $2,500 rebate. And really the reason for that, I can only make, you know, logically to me it makes sense. They want to free up as many parts as possible so that those that don't make the switch still get built. So we really do need, uh, of all the remaining orders, we do need some people to make these switches to make everyone's life better. So please, if you, you know, if you've taken my, if you trust me, <laughs> the soft top is great for just flipping open. It's much easier down in Florida and North Carolina. Everyone with a hard top Jeep was running with their hard top closed. My buddy with his hard top, guess what? He didn't have his top off. Us, of course we dropped it. It was super easy to just throw it back. Now let's talk about those constraints and what the percentages at are at what Ford is being sent by the suppliers and as such can manufacture. So here it is, hardtop, Ford can build 67% of their Broncos with the hardtop, but the demand is at 85%. So everyone seems to want a hardtop and I just seem to absolutely love my soft top. And I know Dave and Kelly from All Terrain Nation, they also made the sacrifice, switched to a soft top and they have not been disappointed either. I mean, I'm not going to speak for them. You can watch their channel. I know I do. I've sub subscribed over there. So don't forget to subscribe to All Terrain Nation. Now, continuing on, while I did talk about this on my Monday live, I'm giving more details. Uh, it did help. I watched Tim, Tim Bartz on Long MacArthur, took some notes because unfortunately, while we, while we got most of this news given to us, we didn't get to know exactly what the demand was. We knew, we know what the the buildability is, but not the demand. So continue with buildability. Sasquatch is at 40% buildability. And you know, if they could build more, they would, but the suppliers are not keeping up. Ford's doing their best here. They put the vehicles together, suppliers send them the parts. Now about 10 to 15% more want the Sasquatch package. The luxury package is at 40% build, buildability and 46% of it want it. So it's a little over demand, meaning if 6% of, you know, if a, you know, if a certain percentage, certain num thousands of people, let's say, remove this, well then the few that left it on won't have any issues. But try to be one of those people to switch at least one right away because I've got a really bad feeling that most people are going to wait to the deadline, see if they get a build date, and then everyone's going to switch at the same time. And that's not going to be productive uh, because, well, they'll already have been a whole bunch of signed. So increase your chances by making at least one switch. That's my piece of advice. And of course, if you switch them all, you get a $2,500 rebate. If you switch nothing and you don't get built, well, the risk is you lose your private offer and you uh, miss out on this $2,500 opportunity. So now let's talk about the wild track. It's at 15% buildability in the States. Here, our percentage is a little different, so I'm using this number from Tim Bartz. So thank you very much, Tim Bartz, for informing the community to help people get their Broncos, and that's exactly what we wanna do here on JCCR. So don't miss out, do hit the bell notification and subscribe. So 15% of all Broncos can be built as wild track, but the demand is at 27%. So that's an issue. Now, tow package is no longer an issue as Ford can build 55% of all Broncos with a tow package. Here it's 40% in Canada, so sometimes the numbers are a little different, but only 31% of orders that are left to be built 
are asking for it. So no issues now on the hitch. Now that's something I at least had noticed with my own builds for the Broncos that I was seeing riding at dealerships over here in Canada. They mostly had hitches and didn't have huge wait times. However, here in Canada, we, you know, we sold a lot of soft tops. So we don't have very many long haul reservation holders who are still waiting for their Bronco. They were all, at least locally, they're all really well advised to switch to the soft top. Both my R Broncos, we switched to the soft top and we got them even though we asked for Sasquatch when Sasquatch was really, really constrained because Sasquatch package has gone up with time and so has hardtop, but still issues. Suppliers aren't getting enough to the manufacturer, to Ford. Now, let's talk about the deadlines. These are really important. You're gonna to wanna to note these. Now, great news if you haven't ordered a Bronco yet and you wanna be able to order one, you will be able to order a 2023 Bronco and that date is gonna be the 27th of March. So far, that's what's being given. Do, do recall, this could be you know pushed back by a month. It could be moved forward by a week or two. But so far, it's looking like March 27th is the rough approximate date for when people who haven't ordered a Bronco can finally order a Bronco. So you can play around with the build and price website. I've done videos on the 2023 Ford Bronco uh, giving my tips and tricks and don't be fooled information. So check that out now. If you want to make a change and maybe get that rebate or just increase your chance of getting built because let's say you remove the hard top or you remove just the luxury package or both, you won't get the rebate, but you'll increase your chances of getting built significantly for every constrained item that you remove. You have until March 7th. Now, a lot of people aren't going to do anything until then and to see if they do get built. My advice is if you wait until then and you haven't been built, you're going to have to change everything if you want to i'd say risk it remove just the thing that bothers you the least you know put on the soft top or remove just the luxury package if that's the the constraint that you could live without and get built right off and report back you know people are always reporting back on their success stories on the channel here jccr so please do come back to the comment section and help the community out that's what the community i built this youtube channel so we can be a community of auto enthusiasts that help each other out and of course i do want to save you thousands that's the whole point of the channel so do try to immediately remove one or two constraints now switching from four door to two door does not get you the twenty five hundred dollar rebate so let's say you just really want that hard top and you figure you know what I'm a four door right now, but I'll live without it. I'm just gonna go two door so I can still get my hard top. That's not gonna get you the rebate. And um, well, two doors, there were, a little, there were they were pretty much constrained throughout the whole time. People seem to have had a lot of long waits if they were a two door. And if you currently are a two door, well, you wanna guarantee your build, remove all these constrained items. The luxury package, of course and wild track and if you have a sasquatch badlands well just take a badlands we loved our badlands we think the badlands is just a great build all together so those are your dates folks that's the information you need to know to possibly make twenty five hundred dollars or to save you thousands because if you don't do anything yes some will get scheduled you know a wild track luxury package some will get scheduled and some won't and you'll have missed your opportunity and unfortunately you're going to end up you know either not having a bronco or taking a 2024 20, at what will almost certainly be a higher interest rate and higher msrp price now if you're tired of waiting on a bronco i'd say the finishing line is so close just make a few adjustments at least one but if you you know if you're thinking the bronco doesn't work anymore because you bought a camper that's let's say 4000 pounds while the bronco pulls 3500 pounds well good news ford will also allow you to switch to another model and get a $2500 rebate and if you do find a bronco in inventory somewhere you also get the $2,500 rebate. So good news and you, you know, good news all around, uh, but some modifications like everything in life, we always have to adapt. So I'm giving you out the information so that you can adapt and get to driving your Bronco and loving your Bronco as we have loved the Broncos uh, that we've owned. We've loved our Outer Banks, Sasquatch, it's been fantastic. And the Badlands is actually our preference. We love the Marine grade, 
of the marine grade interior. Uh, right now, our Sasquatch is actually a leather Sasquatch, and Nai absolutely prefers the marine grade vinyl. And well, I'm on the fence. I like them both, um, but I do prefer the fact that the marine grade vinyl, you don't have to pay an extra for. It's standard on both the Black Diamond as well as the Badlands. So I hope this information has been extremely helpful. If you haven't ordered your Bronco yet, I do hope that you watch to the end to get that information on about when you need to prepare your build. Start playing around with the system and deciding exactly what you want. So until next time, I wish you all more cars and more power.